Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into the Mean 40 channel once again. Today I wanted to stay on the topic of clogged pores and dull skin and introduce to you two of my favorite charcoal masks. Charcoal masks are really beneficial in detoxing of the pores and also revealing a nice clean layer underneath. So I've been getting a lot of questions about how to really take care of dull skin to make it look brighter. And this is something that I have been doing for a number of months, maybe even years now. I love masks because, especially sheet masks, because they're just so convenient. You just pull it out of the packaging, apply it onto your face, and you get that maximum application of vitamins as well as nutrients. But I also love a good detoxification mask because it's necessary to clear out all the dirt and sebum from your pores and reveal some of that nice layering that's underneath. Generally, I'm not a fan of nose strips or peel off masks. I feel that they are very aggravating to the skin and they actually don't leave any extra moisture behind. So it, it ends up just stripping off the things that you also need as well. In less than 10 minutes, I will show you how you can get that spa-like glow right from the comfort of your home without any frills. These types of masks are really good for when my skin is troubled, especially during the time of the month of my menstrual cycle, before, during, and after. I like to take particular attention to my pores. I'm just gonna do a close up for a bit. And you can see around the nose area, I have really 3D pores, especially and I think this is very common for a lot of people on their cycle and here um, around the forehead and the mouth area is where I see it the most. When the skin is actively producing oils, sometimes when I overindulge in sugars, then the pores start to enlarge and there's a lot more dirt and dust that gets into them. My starting point is I'm not wearing anything on my face right now except for a toner and uh, because it's a troubled skin, I am testing out this line from Pcom. So this is a gift that was sent to me directly from the brand and I so appreciate it because it happened to coincide with when my skin was giving me troubles. So I used a, a foam cleanser, I did the double cleanse and then I washed it off with the foam cleanser and then I finished it off with the toner pad. It's been a good start. I want to test it at least for two months before I give a detailed review on my channel. So stay tuned for that. So let's get into my two favorite products. Before I do that, I encourage you to wash your hands because we will be applying it with our fingers to our face. Uh, I've already washed my hands, but I'm gonna just apply a bit of hand sanitizer just cause I was touching my camera and a few other things. I wanted to start out with the secret key. This is the blackout pore minimizing pack which pack is, is defined as a mask in Korean skincare. Now the texture of this product is very smooth. It just glides onto the face. So you can see that it's not rock hard. There's a little bit of movement. I like to use my spatula. And for a, my full face, I would usually use a, a big generous amount. So let me just show you. I'm trying to pick it up and it's like pretty runny. But for my entire face, I would use this much. But since I'm testing the beauty counter on the other half of my face, I will use half of that amount. So about this, I'll let that drop. So this much, and I apply it with my fingertips. I recommend that you start off with the areas that you have the most problems with that you see pores being enlarged. I like to start off with my nose. So on this half of the nose, it's very easy to apply. The scent is neutral. There's no added fragrances. And as I'm applying it, I'm not feeling anything bothersome. It's very, very easy just to glide onto my face. So my areas are the nose, and I mentioned the forehead. So I'm gonna distribute more onto my forehead. It's hard to get really that perfect Instagram photo look, but I want to make sure that it's uniformly spread, avoiding the eye area. Instantly, as it touches my face, there's a cooling sensation. 
And I really like that because it gives that refreshing feel. There's that half of the face. I know it looks a bit funny. Hopefully it's not too scary. I usually keep the boxes so I can remind myself of the ingredients. The first is water. The second ingredient, bentonite, is a clay and it's used to absorb oil and sebum and any of the foreign substances that are clogged in our pores. There's a little bit of controversy surrounding bentonite, whether it's safe or not. It hasn't been tested extensively enough to really come to the conclusion of it being truly non-toxic and safe. I think trial and error is really the best way. Because I've been using this mask, it hasn't given me any irritation. I'm okay with this being the second ingredient because you really do need um, a type of clay in order to grab hold of those nasty oils and all the other things that are clogging your pores. The third ingredient, which is propeniline glycol, is also uh, an ingredient that's safe for the skin. I've looked it up and EWG deems it to be uh, safe in skincare. It is an element that naturally draws water into the skin. So it's really great for hydration and because you're not stripping away everything in the pores, you want to leave some sort of hydration so that your face is not prone to wrinkles and dryness. The third ingredient in the secret key is called kaolin. And this is something that I've learned about as I was researching different charcoal masks, but kaolin is a naturally occurring clay substance and it also helps with drawing out the oils from the pores and fighting the dullness. There's also a lot of other interesting ingredients in this mask. I found that it has macadamia oil, which is a really good oil for that natural shine, as well as black garlic. Black garlic is known, or any garlic for that matter, is known for its antimicrobial, antibacterial properties. So that's something that's really great because it's a natural substance that's found in a plant. And then it also has black sesame and black bean. Koreans traditionally love black sesame and black bean because it helps maintain that luster in the skin to help to get that glow. So I was really interested to see that as part of, of this clay mask. Uh, I also appreciate the fact that there are no parabens and there's no artificial colors or fragrances. So that is an added bonus. As I'm talking, you can see that it is starting to dry out a bit, but my skin doesn't feel really tight. It actually feels comfortable. And that's another thing that I really like about this mask. Next is the Beauty Counter product. This one is called the Charcoal Facial Mask. I really like this product because the ingredients, and you get a little mini one, so cute. You get a little mini one when you sign up as a member. This is the full size product is 60 milliliters so a little bit a little bit goes a long way with these charcoal masks i'm going to apply this one on my right side of the face so that i can compare so the texture itself it's a little bit thicker than the secret key and because it's a squeezy bottle you don't have to worry about dipping your fingers into a pot so this one i will start again with my nose So it has the same active ingredient as a secret key, it's called kaolin, and this is the natural clay-like substance. So this is the number two, the second ingredient in the Beauty Counter charcoal mask. This one doesn't have bentonite, so for those of you who want to stick with uh, cleaner ingredients, I think you would appreciate the Beauty Counter charcoal mask. The other ingredients in the Beauty Counter mask, they include uh, magnesium, aluminum, silicate. So when you hear aluminum, you might be alarmed, but I did a little bit of research and this is a natural clay to, to just thicken the product and give it that mask-like texture. And it's also safe for the face. And then also the ingredient that's found in here is illite. And illite is a French clay that really helps with uh, taking and drawing out all of that unwanted oils that are retained inside the pores that contribute to blackheads and whiteheads. So here I have the two different masks on my face. This is the secret key on this side and the beauty counter one on this side. As it's hardening 
and I'm going to just let you know about how each feels. This side is a little bit more flexible, so it's not as hard as this side. This side has really, really hardened into a very thick mask. Um, this also has a peppermint oil, so I can feel a little bit of a tingle. The Secret Key is more of like a smoother finish. It doesn't feel as tight. So I'm gonna wait 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes and then give this a good wash and I'll come back with my recommendation. I'm back after having washed off both sides of my face, looking a little bit more normal, but also feeling very deeply cleansed and detoxed. Some of the pores have really died down. I don't expect to see miracles happen with one use. I've been using this twice a week for uh, quite a while and you know, I do feel that, that there is a difference. And oftentimes when I come out of a facial, I have the same softness as well as smoothness. So this is definitely a spa-like result in less than 10 minutes from the comfort of my very home. If you're interested in trying this product, it's a really great one to start off with. It's available on Amazon. I have my Amazon store, so I'll provide the link below. And it's less than $50, so it's very affordable. This tin lasts me over a couple of months especially when I put it in the fridge and make sure to just cap it as soon as I take out that first scoop, it will last a long time. If you are concerned about this, the ingredients that haven't been tested for a long time for safety and toxicity, then I recommend that you give the Beauty Counter product a try because it does have the same effects of detoxing the pores and leaving soft and supple skin. It's available online as well. And if you need help with that, always feel free to shoot me a DM, but I'll leave the link below. It's $70 Canadian and you can have it delivered to your home. My next video will be about activated charcoal. I see it a lot in smoothies and various detoxing drinks. So I wanna really explore that as an option for uh, combining the what we do on our skin on the outside with what we do for our bodies on the inside. If you're interested in that video, then hit subscribe and the bell button, and you'll be notified every time I upload videos like this one. Until then, thanks for tuning in, take care, and I'll see you with better skin.